Hello guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be installing Nginx, PHP, and MySQL. So we'll just jump right into that. So I'm going to switch you to the terminal. This is just SSH'd into the server. So first thing we need to do is get an update. All the packet lists. Oh, if I can type. I'm going to type app update. And we're typing our passphrase. So now we got the newest packets. We need to type sudo app, oops, app install. The commands will be in the description. Oops. If I can type, and hit yes, install or Y for yes, I mean. Okay. So now, give me a second. If we switch you over to the web view, and we type in, and I believe the IP of that is 201, we now get the default page for Nginx. So now we need to go and make our file for the PHP info. So let's just switch back over the terminal. Now we're going to cd the ver, oops, ver, www. HTML, ls, you see we got the nginx default HTML file, so we're going to sudo nano, and we're going to go index, oops, dot php, we're going to start, and our php tags, and then we're going to come up here, and we're going to go PHP info, and then we're going to end that. And we're going to save that. So now when we switch back over to our web view, this probably won't work because it won't know what to do with that. PHP info dot PHP. And it says not found. I did type that right. No, nope, I didn't type that right. I was supposed to name that. And if you see, it just downloaded it because it doesn't know how to execute the PHP. So let's switch back over to the terminal. We are first, we need to install PHP. So in order to do that, we need the sudo app install. And we're going to go PHP FPM. And then we're going to go PHP. MySQL, and then we enter, Y for yes, give this a minute to install. Now if I switch you back over to the web view, you'll see that it does the same thing, it won't execute the code. You see how it just downloaded it again? It's because we need to modify the host file for that. So let's switch back over to the terminal. Oops, and I just shut down the web browser. I didn't want to do that. Okay. So in order to do that, we need to go sudo nano, and it's etc engine x. We need to go in there. And we're going to go site, and we're going to go available. Yeah, I'll just ls this to make sure I got the right file name because I actually have not done this. I need Bono 18 and it's just default. So, so let's go back. Nano. We need to put sudo on that because we're not logged in as root. Default. So we come down here. We need to put under indexes. We need to go index.php, add that. And then down around here, got all kinds of stuff we can do. We need to let's go under server name. I'm going to copy and paste this code. That will be in the description so you can get it. So just add that. Let me 
format this a little bit better. Okay. So you just add this under server name. And we're going to hit Control X and hit yes to save. Okay. Now we need to restart Nginx for that to apply. So now what we'll do is we will go sudo, if I can type. Uh, this would be engine x. And why did that do that? Okay. So you do that. And now when we go to the web view, I have to type in the IP because I shut down the web browser. Dot thirty one dot two oh one. You see we now got our PHP is now working. We have PHP seven point two installed. So now we need to set up databases. Switch back over here. Now we need to install MySQL database. So we're going to sudo app install MySQL Oops. L server. And we need to install MySQL client. This one might take a minute to install. And then after that, we will set a passphrase on it. Just give this a minute to go. And do it stuff. Okay, it looks like it's wrapping it up. Yeah, it looks like it froze. <laughs> Okie dokie. So now we need a sudo. And I can't type. MySQL. Secure installation. Do we? Yes, we do. And I'm going to go with one. Let me generate some kind of goofy passphrase. Uh, it's going to want something kind of secure. It won't let us continue. So make sure you save your passphrase because you'll definitely end up needing it. Do we wish to continue? Yes, we do. Do we want to remove an on to users? This is up to your choice, but I am. Uh, I'm not going to disallow the remote login, but you can. I am going to remove test databases, up to your option, and definitely reload the privileges table. So now that we got that all set up, we need to log in to MySQL and OBS just overloaded. <laughs> so we're going to put u root. So we're logging as the root user, and we're going to P for password. And then we need to type in that passphrase we just generated. Oops. Okay, now that we're logged in, I'm just going to copy these commands because they're kind of long, but uh, they're in the description. So, copy and paste should be easy to you. There it is on the screen for a second. You can pause the video if you need to type it down. Okay, now if you see under the root user and you go into plugins, you see how it says a fence socket. And the rest of the users are using MySQL native passphrase. We got to change the root user to use the native password. So, I am going to copy another command because it's kind of long. So, this will also be in the description. So, this you just select with a root user at localhost. And then you change it to the native passphrase and then your password. And you can't see my cursor for some reason. Well, there's the password, uh, just a generic passphrase I put on there. So now we hit enter. Now when we come under here, if you see, it is now using the MySQL native passphrase. So now we need to flush the clip, which is so F privileges. Okay, privilege has been reloaded. Now we need to exit. 
and we should all be good to go. You now have Nginx PHP 7.2 and MySQL. In the next video, we're going to be installing PHP MyAdmin on uh, Nginx because it's a little bit different. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you guys later. Hey guys, my name is Tate. I've been on YouTube since 2012. I've never really taken YouTube too seriously. Like I would post a video like once a year on how to do something. I don't know how my one sharpening video has gotten almost 100,000 views. But recently I would like to try making my YouTube channel into a part-time income. And my AdSense has been removed because YouTube changed their terms and service. And I now need 1,000 subscribers and 400 hours of watch time in the next 12 months. I don't want to sound like I'm begging for subscribers, but if you could please subscribe and like and share my videos, that would really, really help. I'll be trying to post a video like once every week or so, at least, on either a Linux tutorial or just messing around a GIMP or just me messing around the shop or something. So if you like any of that stuff, please subscribe and check out some of my other videos and give me a shout out. Thanks, guys. I'll see you guys later.